Now the horizontal magnet width, add any magnet above it, weighs 845 grams. In spin lock, with that magnet with no tape below, the Dremel now weighs 835 grams total. Then if we lift it to a higher position out of spin lock, the Dremel weighs 849 grams. Now we have the magnet with nothing below it in spin lock, just with a bare pole. As you can see, it's attracting the Dremel magnet quite a lot. Look at that. No tape, no anything. And the weight of the Dremel is about 10 grams less than it was before. What's happening here is that we have this Dremel with a rotating NS magnet. We get lift when it induces spin in another magnet above like this, which is free floating on a rod. The reason is this creates spinning magnetic fields and we get induced spinning magnetic fields which attract one another from the second magnet. Interestingly, if we have the same situation, a Dremel, and we use a horizontal magnet above, rather than vertical, we get no spin whatsoever and no lift. So we have to have a horizontal magnet below, a vertical magnet above. We can have repulsive or spin lock orientations, but when it's spin locked, this lower Dremel lifts up toward the other one because the two fields are attractive.